channel in today's video I am sharing my monthly favorites it's also bittersweet because this is the last monthly favorites of the year so if you guys would like to see the things I was loving this past month please keep watching so I feel like this month I don't have too many favorites uh, this month has been hectic preparing for December which is a huge month for content creators so I don't think I have as many things to share this month but of the things that I'm sharing, I'm really, really excited. So let's get into them. Let's start with makeup. I have three makeup items. So the first is a product that, well, two of them are actually products that I recently purchased during the Sephora sale. I believe it was the end of last month and the beginning of this month. If you didn't see my haul, I will link it down below. The Pat McGrath Concealer. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I was super, super hesitant to try this concealer because previously I was using the Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage Concealer in Sand. And this is why I used it because it comes with so much. You guys, I'm... I like luxury. I don't mind spending money, but I'm also very cheap when it comes to something. And if I can get more bang for my buck, that's what I'm going with. So I never really wanted to try another concealer because I loved the Too Faced Super Coverage Concealer. Now, I am going to be reviewing this concealer and comparing it to a few others that I have used previously because they are night and day. I see why people love this concealer. I have it on today. It just looks very natural while also being full coverage. It's very seamless. It glides on effortlessly. This is probably the best concealer I've ever used. Uh, it comes in a glass container that might deter some folks, but I really do like it. I have it in the shade M16, and I was really unsure of what shade to get because I couldn't find anyone who had my same shade of Too Faced concealer that looked similar in skin tone because sometimes people use concealer that is one shade lighter, two shades lighter. You know, it just kind of depends on what they want their look to be. But M16 is the perfect shade for me. Um, really, really impressed with this concealer. Did not want to love it, did not want to try it because Pat McGrath, her products are really expensive, so I really only pick them up during a Sephora sale. So this is like, ugh, ultimate fave. I love it. My next favorite, Charlotte Tilbury's Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Now I won't talk too much about this product because I have reviewed it, so I will link that review down below if it is up. I love this setting spray. If you guys have been watching my beauty videos for years, you would know that I have never purchased a setting spray. When I used to work at Sephora, I believe I got like one in gratis, but I'm not a huge setting spray person. Let's just say I am now a believer and Charlotte Tilbury has changed the game. <laughs> oh, please let it be okay. So yeah, I will link this video review down below. Hopefully it's up. If not, it will be up shortly, but this is a game changer. I have oily skin. I don't like to touch up makeup. Perfection. Okay, and the last makeup product that I am obsessed with is this Bite Beauty. It's in really small lettering. The Power Move Creamy Matte Lip Crayon in Calvados. So if you guys did not know, I am a Bite Beauty ambassador, which first of all is like super exciting for me because I never saw myself being an ambassador for a brand. I think just having them reach out and encourage me to apply was just amazing. So every month I get to try out different Bite Beauty products and Bite Beauty is one of these brands that I have loved since my days of working in the beauty industry. I've gone to their lip lab in New York City where you get to make custom shades of lipstick. They have some of the best lipsticks and I think Bite Beauty is just an underrated brand altogether. So I was really excited to become an ambassador. So this is one of the products that I received this month. Um, I will insert a picture on the screen of when I wore this out probably a few weeks ago. I love this shade. It's a really nice like terracotta deep nude. It's perfect for fall and winter. It won't make you look stark because it has more depth to it. Bite Beauty's matte lipsticks smell nice. They're creamy on the lips. They don't dry your lips out. They're just perfection. I also like the packaging of this. Sometimes it's just nice to have something different. So I really have been enjoying that. And once again, that is in the shade Calvados. 
Okay, let's get into some skincare. The first item is a product that I have talked about probably a few times on my channel. I reviewed it once. I did a review and comparison plus a seven day challenge this month. I will link that down below. This is the Foreo Bear. So if you have not seen my previous videos, the Foreo Bear is a skincare tool that tones the muscles in your face. And it's basically like a workout for your face to help you look more youthful and to really tone the muscles so they don't sag. Now, this is a product that I was using eh, sparingly for the past few months. And I always said, this is something that I think you need to use consistently to see results. Well, I used it for seven days straight and I could tell a huge difference. I kind of just feel like my cheekbones are more chiseled. My face looks less round. It really has helped to strengthen the muscles in my face. Now this actually uses microcurrent waves to tone the muscles in your face. So you will feel it, but it doesn't hurt. The only part of my face where it feels really intense is up by my forehead and my eyebrows just because there's less fat there. So on the lower portions in my face it just feels like a massage you use this in combination with your phone and the Foreo app and you guys with seven days of using this I saw a huge difference so I will link that video down below it should go up before this one I'm hooked is this an expensive device yes does everyone need it no if you are looking to help tone the muscles in your face, help protect your face against aging, I think you'd really enjoy this. They also have a mini one, but I like the Foreo Bear better than the Bear Mini because that one has smaller metal pieces and so I think it's better for smaller areas of your face. But I have a large face, so I like the original one and I am obsessed with this. Okay, next we have a product that has been all the rave for years. This is one of my friend's favorite products ever. We were talking about it before the Sephora sale. This is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. So this is basically a fast absorbing body cream that helps to visibly tighten the appearance of skin. Now, I cannot speak to those claims because I use this as a hand cream. I am somebody whose hands get really ashy really, really quickly. Also because I'm washing my hands so much because of COVID, this product has come in handy. As you can see how small it is, I got this in, Ooh, probably a Sephora birthday gift many years ago and I never used it. And after the Sephora sale, when I was talking to my friend about it, I said, I'm gonna actually start using this product. I love it, you guys. To me, this is like a lightly scented, hydrating body butter. It's more of a whipped texture. It's not necessarily whipped, but it's not super heavy like a body butter. I love this lotion. I keep it in my purse as a hand cream. So I'll probably repurchase this, but keep this container so I can refill it. Um, it is expensive for what it is, but I love it. The scent I'm not too crazy about, but it does dissipate rather quickly when I wear it. So that's not a problem. But I now see why there is such a craze over this Brazilian Bum Bum Cream because it's so hydrating. I love it. I put it on my hands before I started filming today. Perfection. Get my hydration in. The next product I want to talk about is the Tower 28 SOS Save Our Skin Daily Rescue Facial Spray. This is another product that I purchased during the Sephora sale. I told you guys that I was kind of just on a hunt to find products to add to cart. Sometimes I get a little overzealous. So this is a so this is a 100% natural AM and PM kind of like toner. And this is supposed to help soothe, purify, and renew your skin. It helps soothe against irritation and defend against the daily damage from skin's everyday stressors, including makeup, sweat, grime, and pollution. So I've been using this as a toner. I spray it over my face in the morning and at nighttime before my moisturizer. This has a pH level that I think is balanced at 4.5. Um, I picked this up because it's supposed to help prevent against acne. Now with mask knee and having to wear my mask, every time I leave the house, my face has been erupting. I have probably like nine little breakouts on my chin right now. I'm trying to do everything I can to treat my skin, but I just feel like I'm going to have to deal with this. But I do like it. I feel like it's doing something. It's basically a flash toner. It tastes a little salty if you get it in your mouth. It's also really simple in terms of ingredients. It only has like three or four ingredients. 
here they are water sodium chloride and hydrofochlorous acid I don't know what it's technically doing but I like it I'm gonna continue to use it and I will do a product review I liked it enough to include it in this monthly favorites. I do feel like it's doing something. I've used about that much. I just spray it all over my face and I protect my hair. I've been loving it. The next skincare product that I've been obsessed with is my Belief True Cream Aqua Balm. And this is my favorite moisturizer for oily skin for the fall and winter. I always talk about this being my holy grail product for the fall and winter because it smells like ivory soap it smells so fresh and clean it's a gel texture it's really really hydrating i love it for this time of year because i'm oily but i can be dehydrated so i have to walk the fine line of being hydrated and not being too hydrated or not becoming oily so i really love this product i've been using this for years this is holy grail status i think i'm going to do a video next year of all my holy grail skincare and makeup products this always makes the list it's perfect if you have oily skin in during the fall and winter you will love that product the next item I have been obsessed with and it's so weird to talk about but during 2020 quarantine year one I think we can just all agree that we have a favorite hand sanitizer now if you're like me and you were already a germaphobe you probably have just random hand sanitizers hanging around but I have found my new favorite and if you follow me on Instagram you would know about this. This is the Shea Moisture Hand Sanitizer with Argan Oil. So I saw this at my local Kroger maybe ooh, a month ago but I was like you have hand sanitizer because now it's readily available and so why do I need a Shea Moisture one? But something told me girl just get it just try it out and I'm so glad I did. You guys I wish I could gift everyone one of these. This is like hand sanitizer for the product junkie, okay? It smells nice. I want to say it has notes because this is like a fragrance. I want, okay, it has notes of apple, frankincense, and myrrh, okay? This smells warm. It smells like a hair product. It's really, really nice. The one thing I will say though is that if you put it on and then keep using hand sanitizer, it may pill up in your hands. I think that's probably because of the argan oil in it because like usually oil and alcohol wouldn't mix. But this is really, really nice. I enjoy it. It is $4, so it's a little pricey. It's either $3.99 or $4.99. So I've only found it at my local Kroger. Someone said they found it at Target or Walmart, I believe. But one of my subbies also said it's available on the vitamin store or something. I'll put something in the screen. If you are a product junkie and you are sick of having hand sanitizer that smells like grain alcohol, you need this in your life. This has been a complete game changer for me. I never thought I'd be so excited about a hand sanitizer, but such is 2020 and I'm obsessed. My next product is a hair item and I actually just started using this yesterday. I posted about it on Instagram last night and I'm already hooked. That just speaks to how amazing this is. This is the Design Essentials Natural Hair Almond and Avocado Overnight Recovery Treatment for all curl types. I purchased this product because if you guys saw my hair update, which I will link down below, like first of all, I have a bob now, so my hair is dramatically shorter, but I found a new hairstylist whom I love and we have a new routine for myself and it's all about moisture because I was having a lot of breakage in the back section of my hair and it was just in one particular spot, but it kept breaking and she was basically telling me I'm doing everything that I should be doing. I'm stretching my relaxers to every four months. I wrap my hair at night I only apply heat twice a month yeah like I'm doing everything I should be doing I also switched to a ceramic flat iron but I just have naturally drier hair and because I also am relaxed and I know that being natural is what's best but a relaxer works with my time and energy I need to add moisture in my hair so she was telling me about a DIY mask that I can try and if you've watched that video that I'll link down below you know all about the mask but I wanted to find something that I could use to put moisture in my hair when I needed it so this is probably day four hair I believe and yesterday it was feeling a little dry in the front so I put this in my hair and I'll put some in right now I really like that this is lightweight I run it between my hands it smells heavenly it smells like fruit 
Um, doesn't smell like almonds and avocados at all, but I just lightly run it through my hair, especially in that back section that used to break. And when I woke up this morning, my hair, like, first of all, it's not weighed down. I mean, it's a little more weighed down than day one hair, but I'm okay with that. But it doesn't feel greasy. It's shiny. It's super hydrated. Like, this stuff is amazing. Now, I would say depending on your hair type, how fine or thick it is, you might have to only use a tiny bit, but I probably can use this just once or twice a week to give my hair the extra moisture that it needs and still have it be free flowing. Like it does not feel heavy and weighed down. I'm obsessed. I only used it, well now this is my second time, but I am hooked. I also might switch to using all Design Essential products. I used to use Design Essentials many, many years ago when I was relaxed, uh, and that's now what my hairstylist uses. I am hooked. Okay, another hair product that I also purchased during the Sephora sale this past month is the Chanel Coco Mademoiselle Parfum Fresh Hair Mist. Now this was a little splurge item for me. It's totally not necessary. It's basically a hair perfume, but I needed it. And I wore this once and I saw a friend and she was like, ooh, what do you have on? And I was like, nothing, I just took a bath. She was like, no, you smell like something and it was my Chanel hair mist. So I really like this for using in my hair when it is dirty. So like, let's say it's nearing wash day. I can put this in my hair, it smells fresh and nice specifically after using a dry shampoo. And it also doubles as a fragrance for my body too. So I've really been enjoying this. Not something that you need. Total splurge luxury item, but it just makes me feel so fabulous and I enjoy it. My next fragrance that I've really been enjoying this past month is the Gold Rose Oud by Tiziana Terenzi. So I was gifted this fragrance by Fragrance Net when I worked on a collaboration with them. And this is the most exquisite masculine smelling oud that I own. It smells very masculine, it's very deep, but it's a fresh oud. It's very fresh. It doesn't smell rosy at all to me. I just get masculine, oudy, fresh notes. It's beautiful. It's very heavy, very masculine. It kind of borders on androgynous, but it's definitely more masculine of center. First of all, it smells amazing on a man. Like, go home if you have this and spray it on your man. Just drape him out, drip him up, put this all over him. It smells amazing. But I also love the way it smells on me. I love a nice juxtaposed, like, fragrance on me when I'm looking very feminine. Mm, very, very strong scent. Very strong. Did I say it's strong? <laughs> Super strong, really, really nice, fresh oud. I love this. Very, very heavy, but great for fall and winter. My last fragrance is another one of my favorites that I also purchased during the Sephora sale and this is Chanel's Coco Noir. This is one that my fragrance sisters here on YouTube were talking about when they did the My Black is Beautiful tag. I am obsessed. This baby, this is a heavy hitter. This is strong. It smells like cologne but it has deep, deep, deep floral notes. I wore this on date night this past month beautiful it's a strong just cologne type of scent with deep floral notes maybe some patchouli in here also very very beautiful it's intense it's sexy it's dark this is definitely date night going out at night i can't see myself wearing this during the day even though i have because i'm extra but traditionally i think this is a date night out scent very strong and intense, but it is beautiful. It's very classic and chic and elegant. It definitely smells like a Chanel fragrance though. So if you do not like Chanel fragrances, you may not like this. It has Chanel's DNA all up and through it. It's amazing though. Sophisticated for sure. Okay, Um, next favorite, good old Teddy Blake. You guys, I have not stopped wearing my Teddy Blake since receiving this last month, I believe. I will link the unboxing down below. This bag just looks so gorgeous. The one con that I will say is that when I'm trying to close it, it's a little hard to get these tabs in. You really have to push the bag in up here. So sometimes it can take a little bit of work, but when I'm out and about running around town or going wherever, business meetings that people don't think I go on, even though I own a business, like, <laughs> A whole business but that's neither here nor there um i take this everywhere i would wear it today like i'm dressed down i will wear it dressed up 
This bag is just everything. You guys know I'm really into mini bags. The strap is not too long, but I will crossbody it if I'm going grocery shopping. Teddy Blake did its thing with this bag. I think it just looks so classy and sophisticated. People have asked me on Instagram if it's an Hermes Kelly. No, darling, it's a Teddy Blake and it is just gorgeous. So I'm really obsessed with that and I've been wearing it all month and all last month. My next favorite is Chasing Reality Atlanta, which is an internet-based show on YouTube. I will link their page down below. I live in Atlanta. Um, I'm not opposed to the LGBT scene here. I love it. I live for it. Here for it all. I love that show. I've been watching it since the first season. I don't know who put me onto it. Probably my girl Kelly Corinne, but I love that show. I've been enjoying it since it's been back on air, and it's always just something nice and easy to watch every Thursday, I think. Also an album... Ariana Grande's positions. <sighs> right, Miss little Ariana Grande did her thing with this album. My favorites are 34, 35, and Point of View or POV. <sighs> Obsessed. Like, she gives me my life. My voice is a little hoarse because I've been just belting out the notes. I live for Ariana Grande. Everything that I've ever heard from her, for the most part, I have enjoyed. And this album is nothing short of amazing. Also, you guys, my haircut. Like I said, I did a video all about my haircut. I am loving the bob. I have affectionately nicknamed her Miss Lorena Bobbitt. I don't know why, but we're going with it. I feel so 40 and free. I'm not 40. Once again, there's nothing wrong with being 40. I can't wait to be 40 something, but in my mind, I'm 43 because in my mind, I'm older. But this bob is just 40 and free and fabulous. I never thought I would like having a bob, but I'm obsessed. I actually think it's getting a little long. I need to cut it, but my hair just feels so amazing and healthy and I love the bob. I'm always walking around fluffing my bob. My friends think I'm crazy, but I love this bob. Okay, and the last two things I want to share are two Nespresso capsules, and they are Odacio and Stormio. I will put pictures of them in the screen. I am obsessed with them. Previously, I was only using the barista creations from Nespresso, but I'm loving the regular coffee now. I did buy an advent calendar for Christmas, so we'll be using that during Vlogmas. Yeah, those are all of my faves, you guys. This probably was a longer video than I thought, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I will do a December favorites halfway through uh, January, I think. But I'm really excited for December. I'm excited for Vlogmas. It's always an exciting time on my channel. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!